Hey, BBFs. So, I have a big surprise. And the surprise is I am locking my hair. And obviously, you can see who's doing it. And she has locks herself, obviously. Those are all hers. She's been growing them for 15 years. I have not. Stop it. <laughs> Always buying. <laughs> She'd be lying. I only had them for three and a half months or four years. And they're down her back. You tell me how long she's been growing them. Anyways. What's the doing? <laughs> so. Yeah, I am locking my hair. And for you guys that are like, your hair is straight. This part where the wave is, is natural. Just the very tips. Everything else is permed. So how we're doing it is we're going to do the coil way, which means we're going to braid it. So she's braiding it and then she's knotting the ends so it doesn't come out. And then after, when I go through that like ugly ratchet stage, she's going to take the hairs and start twisting them around the braid. And eventually in a year or so, they will lock. So I, I, won't ha I would not have started my journey, you know, with the um, twists. I'm starting with the length of my hair, which is scraping my shoulder like dusting my shoulder my hair comes to my shoulders um <laughs> um yeah so i wanted you to see the journey that we are on now she's getting ready to lock it. I mean, not lock it, but knot it. That meat is spoiled. Stop me, please. Alright, so, let me show you. Oh wait, I should just turn the camera around, huh? I don't think you can. I can't, okay. So, I can't tell if you can see that. Can you see that? It looks like, almost like a box break. And then on the very end, it's a, it's a knot on the end of it. There you go. So that's what my entire head will look like. And once they're done, we'll style them. Yeah, we're going to style them. It might be curly things all over my head. It might be whatever. I don't know. But this is my hair here. See? So, we shall see. I gotta take my glasses off. But this is the journey to locking my hair. Today is what? No, December. December what? 16, 15, December. December. <laughs> right. December 18th. 18th Tuesday at 7:46. Right. We okay, are. So you want to go over some of the ways that you can lock? Oh yes. TJ, turn that down or off or something. That voice is annoying. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is what we're watching. <laughs> we ain't watching, this is on. Nobody's watching that. Well, now nobody really is, and there's my nephew. I was watching that. Lies. <gasps> He's so mean. And there go my brother-in-law at the, uh, well, there's my nephew. If he would move. You can see my brother-in-law over there trying to eat his dinner. Um, <laughs> so the difference between this process and how I started mine. Mine started with loose natural hair. And I put it into a strand twist and then I just never took it out. Right? Uh, that's one way to start it. Then there's the coil method where you can do the little ringlet coils comb coils some people call them um, and then you can do this method but you can also like back comb it as you're doing it 
um, which is the way that people who have really fine hair will get locks. Like that's the way they'll start their locks, so they'll just like start teasing their hair and then they'll twist it and then they put a knot at the end. That's another method. So sometimes you'll hear very um, dogmatic people in the lock community who are just like, no, you have to do it this way. And truth be told, it really just depends on your hair, right? Um, so like my daughter, her hair is um, softer, like it's a softer texture than mine. And so when I put locks in her hair, I had to use a different method. Like hers was too strained and twisted to start, but then I had to interlock it as it started growing out. And twice a year, I will tighten her roots down using an interlock method. So it again, it just depends on what your hair needs and your hair type. I do think anybody can get locks. I do. Um, you just, are you willing to do what, you doing? what it takes to get them? I don't necessarily believe in like the whole put honey and beeswax and all that. Don't do that to your hair. You're just going to attract a whole bunch of lint and a whole bunch of bees. <laughs> and so it's just not, I don't think that's healthy. You can put it that way. Um, you can do it that way, but... I don't think locking is a process you want to force. What do you think about that? I don't know much about locks. Um, other than when they're kept up, they look nice. They seem like they're low maintenance compared to this. Um, but they're still maintenance. Like, you still have to take care of your hair, treat your hair. I think that you need to be more gentle with locks. And I... Let me first say, I'm not a loctician. I never had locks in my life. I'm not I, a loctician either. I've just experienced locks. So, wow. <laughs> um, and her brothers, my husband. And she my husband. Um, keeps and my his son hair up. Right. And her soon to be goddaughter's hair will be locked too. Um, she'll be doing all of ours, by the way. So, you'll see how she does them, how they mature. Um, I'll start putting my husband on here when she starts locking his hair and she has his going beautiful. I started them, but I didn't keep them up. Um, well, that's not true. I did keep them up for a while, but what happened was she did them. I think this is her third time doing them, but she did them one time and the way she did them looked really good. So it was kind of like, almost like, hi, best friend, you should have never did it because now you're stuck type of thing, to be honest. Um, and so anyways, like what I was, what I was talking about was, um, I don't think I remember. No, it was before that you were talking about, um, what did I think about what you were saying? And I was talking about how I wasn't a loctician. Um, I think it was something to do with the upkeep. Um, you need to be gentle on your oh yes you need to be gentle on your locks because what i realized is that it's dead hair to be honest so you have to keep that up because in my mind it'll just snap off or break or be brittle so you have to keep treating it to keep it you know cool i don't know that's what i think so as i can do pretty much i still have to treat my hair because it's permed um but with locks i think you have to be a lot more gentle aware um, treat your hair in my mind in my mind like I said don't take what I say to heart and Which, I don't know I don't know gentle is relative for me like you you've been around me my mind, so when I wash and sometimes I condition sometimes I don't sometimes I do a deep treatment if I feel like they're getting really dry for like it depends on the change of seasons like I always do a deep treatment when the seasons change from um, spring to summer and especially from fall to winter like always during that time um, hot oil treatment sometimes I don't do that nearly as much as I probably could or should or would if I thought about it or did or did especially when I was loose natural um, I find honestly like if you just let them be they'll be like just let them be it, I don't know why but it's like difficult for people to keep their hands out of their hair 
even when they have locks. Like you definitely don't want to twist your locks when they're dry. And, you, know, you don't want to develop any kind of bad habits. Like just let them be. Because if you twist them too much, then you risk the root. The, uh, you're going to wake up and they're going to be on your pillow. Yeah, you they're going to snap your, off. <laughs> snap completely off. And that's happened. Huh? Mm hmm that's happening for me. Oh, come here. Yeah. Let me show you my daughter's hair. Yes, you, you. Sit down right there. Hey, guys. <laughs> really? Take your hair down. Take your hair down. So her hair started with Loose Natural as well. She's had her locks for roughly... Turn around. You're doing too much. Turn around. Sit down. What? Sit down. I am Turn around. How about you just turn around and sit down? Just move your head back. My love. There we go. So she's had her locks for approximately two years. Stop right at two years. She just turned two years, actually. Um, and when they're like, her longest one is like here. <laughs> Stretch it. So what I was saying was, like, as your locks are maturing, it just depends. Like, she's down there. So, um, expect if you're going to do locks that they're going to shrink up. Like that's what natural hair does, right? It's not until it gets some Give serious hang off. time that you get to actually Give see them. It's like huh? my hair hangs what? To the crack of your But when it's stretched, when it's like wet, it's crazy. But when it's dry, it's maybe middle back. Maybe it's past, you know, the bottom of your bra strap. It's past that. Yeah. I can't show you. Well, maybe. Well, maybe. Let's. She has to do all of this. You know, the bougie self. Well, I gotta be bougie. You're not bougie, best friend. I am, but I'm okay. just saying, like, why are you? At least you're bad and bougie. bougie. <laughs> Leave me alone, bro. You have no idea what it took to get this hair in the ponytail this morning. All right, so what are we looking at? You want me to turn around? Mm hmm Ooh, that feels so good. <laughs> so, this is what it looks. Girl, you hitting me. I'm sorry. I can't feel it. Anyways, this is what it looks like um, down. And then if you were to stretch them, it Oh, it goes down there. And that's I dry. I'm all. scared to pull them. <laughs> but, yeah, this is where they are. And her bra strap would be up here. So it's past that. That's where I'm trying to be one day. It'll take me about 15 years to get to where she's at. Because she's been growing hers for 32 years. You've been growing your hair for 13 years. Don't yes. believe her. Don't I believe her. Exaggeration. Is my name. Lies it is. is my game. It is hers. See, she's talking about herself, y'all. Put your head down. So, we just wanted to show you that. Seems like we're always up to something, and that's what we're up to. This. <laughs> we have had so many videos for you guys, but none of them. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Like, they're not doing not right. Working. They're not doing right. Anyway, so this is one. Hopefully, this one will come out. I'm not even going to call this what the other ones were. Because nope. maybe that's what it is. Maybe nope. it's the name of it. Right. We're going to name it when it uploads. Like, yeah. right before we push upload, it will name it. We're not going to even... No, no. No, no. No, no, no. So, okay, I do want to address something, you guys. I ha We're going to get to your comments tonight. I have seen you guys' comments. And no, we have not responded. But we will respond tonight. Um, contrary to what it seems like popular belief. Yes, we are always together. But there are times... Where we're like not and I know that sounds like a contradictory statement what I mean is <laughs> when, by the time it's time to like respond I'm at home with my family and she's here but during the day when we're together she's either at work or I'm at work and then we're together like right now but we're recording or we're interacting actively you know what I'm saying so it's kind of like ah, we never have time to um get around to the comments but well, we're gonna make time we're gonna make time tonight because i want to always address i always want to be what's that word like 
interacting, you know, with y'all for sure. And um, one of my pet peeves is when people have channels and they don't respond. It really is a pet peeve of mine. So let me not be a hypocrite. And she's usually really on top of it, but we record off of my phone. So I'm pretty sure if she it was on her phone, she would have probably been on top of it and responding to you guys. But my thing is, I don't want to do it without her. Since this is a BFF channel, I feel like we should do it together. So both of us can either chime in together or answer you separately, but in the same comment, if that makes sense. Like it would say, Ivy, da 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 D, da 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 in addressing what you guys have to say. So we're going to do that today. And I just wanted to put that out there so you guys know we do see them, we are aware, and we will be better on um, getting back to you guys in a, in a timely manner is what I mean yeah. oh wait why are you so close <laughs> and my hair I don't know if you can see the length it's not that long so can you see that yeah I don't know it's about in the back it's about seven inches really. okay you see that? but see her hair is way longer so mine will probably just touch the tip of my shoulder and then they shrink up to right here yeah, so yeah. I'll have no hang time. Yeah. Which, right, yeah, so this is my hair here. Okay, now stop recording, put your head down. Okay, well, <laughs> bye guys. This is the shortest video we've done. Later. Bye.